I went to the I've just had a big problem with my stove. Um, I hadn't properly used it before. I just didn't get the chance to. Um, and I bought the second. I, I bought the stove secondhand off uh, Mark Platz, which is a a kind of uh, like like Craigslist um, for Holland. But um, Mark Platz is also full of <laughs> lots of people selling broken items. Um, I, I guess it's just part of the culture. There isn't really much uh, care about. Yeah, there isn't care for, for other people really. And so lots of people sell broken items and then refuse to give you money back. Um, when I bought this stove, uh, I actually received an older model that was in the picture and now I've tried to use it and it sprayed petrol everywhere. Uh, it got all over me and I'd, I'd, I'd tried to light it like a couple of minutes before and the stove was still warm so that was quite scary. Um, so yeah, I think that goes in the bin, I have to spend like 100 euros to get a new one. Which is a shame, but yeah, I'm going to pack up and clean up some of the petrol a bit and then get off. I've just arrived at the end of the day. Um, it's full of singing nettles, but I think I can camp here. It's also quite hilly, but it's very quiet, so hopefully I should get a good-ish night's sleep. Well, better than I've been getting. Better than, than I've been getting the nights before. Um, it's, this is tough. Much, not much, but quite a bit tougher than touring in the UK I think I'm kind of just waiting for there to be a special part of the trip that makes it all worth it because what I found when I was in the UK for three weeks was that 80% of the time I wasn't really <laughs> enjoying it and then the parts when you are make up for the rest of the time that you're miserable and aching um, but it's like the end of the fourth day now and I know that in terms of natural beauty I'm going to have to wait until Switzerland I think. Maybe the Black Forest is really nice but I've seen a lot of hills and pine trees and I don't really give a fuck anymore. <laughs> Everything's compounded by the fact that I'm getting by on four, four hours of sleep a night and so wow. all of my problems, my hunger, um, being annoyed at petrol squirting in my face earlier from buying a broken fucking stove and not having the budget to fix any of these problems I have um, compounded with the sleep uh, lack of sleep makes everything ten times worse but um, I just have to continue because there's nothing else I can do <laughs> okay so yeah, I need to wait again a couple of hours for the sun, the sun to go down and then I can set up tent, the tent and then I can set up the tent um, and until then I'm going to get eaten alive by mosquitoes so, Cool, see you tomorrow <laughs> Hello. Um, my normal routine is I'll look for a little at about 11 o'clock in the morning after I leave and then I can get food for the day, um, get, a, get a nice cold drink, but uh, I forgot that absolutely everything in Germany and Switzerland uh, is closed on Sundays. Um, and I didn't have any water this morning. Um, so I decided it's the perfect time to try and use my water filter and see if see how it works and yeah I've got chlorine tablets as well so I've got the double protection but um, I've just filled up from this river and done a little bit of laundry which will dry on the back of the bike so 
Um, I don't really need to go to a shop today. I am crossing the border into Luxembourg today and then right back out so I believe that stuff is open on Sundays there but um, I can also have a day of just eating the last bits I've got left and and my chlorine water but yeah uh, gonna get off in a bit and then should be in Luxembourg in about an hour or two a place to camp. I'm on this uh, kind of riverside mountain, um, not having much luck. There's a couple of flat spots but they're visible from the road so I'm gonna have to keep on looking or just wait until it gets dark and pitch up somewhere quite public. But on the way I found this viewing spot. Look at that. But I can't really be bothered to move, so I'm probably just gonna camp around here. Long day though. Um, the scenery is getting more and more interesting as we as we go south. Um, yeah, I'm going along the Saar River. And yeah, lots and lots of foresty mountains. Um, the cycling is quite easy as long as you don't have to climb one of the mountains to find somewhere to camp and uh, yeah quite pleasant looking forward to the next couple of days <sighs> cool I'm gonna eat a bit and then I'll set up bye Good morning. It's not really a good morning. I think that was the worst night's sleep I've ever had. From about nine hours of laying there, at the most I got about 20, 30 minutes of sleep. Um, I was being terrorised by some sort of animal. Um, one, no, what animals. The first was deer, which I've encountered in almost every woods I've slept in so far. But normally you can wrestle the tent and then they do -do 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 -do. they run away but this time the deer weren't leaving and they were kind of like circling my tent walking around it very 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 softly and they just wouldn't leave and then in the I could see the kind of shadow of a stag that was standing stationary up here somewhere while the what looked like females were just pacing around the tent. I made noises, I clicked on my bike alarm, they went did 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 and they didn't leave. 
and it was uh, it's kind of fucked. And then the deer are very light on, light on their feet, and then there was a, another animal or animals that came in very heavy footed, and one time it was uh, growling really, really deeply. And I think that could have been a wild boar. And then the other heavy-footed animal was it was screaming, kind of like a fox, but deeply. I don't think it was a deer because the deer are so t t t on on all of the crunchy leaves. They're very soft. But either way, it's fucking terrifying. <laughs> and I'm uh, I'm still covered in sweat. I heard the last roar about five minutes ago, so I got out the tent with my camera and as soon as I stand up there's nothing here. But I... I think it's just because of daybreak. The f scary night animals go back to... Where, did, where do they live in the day? These huge fucking things. Even... Uh. Alright, well... I... I'm fucking sick of camping outside in woods. I need to try and find somewhere proper to stay tonight. But everyone on warm showers is always busy. So far, when I've tried. But maybe I can have a night off in someone's spare room or in their garden. Can I hear movement? made myself some coffee with um, my backup stove uh, and I'm starting to feel human again <laughs> but um, today's gonna be shit anyway <laughs> um, yeah once I start cycling I'll feel fine and then yeah just hopefully I can find someone on warm showers that will host me tonight if not it's into the forest again Although usually if I if I have a with, with camping, I usually have one bad night, one okay night, um, off and on, because tonight I'll probably sleep for anything, and I won't care about animals that want to fucking kill me. <laughs> yeah. Despite everything, looking forward to today. I just um, projectile shat under a motorway bridge. Um, I think from putting too much chlorine in that water yesterday. Um, and I'm running on like 20 minutes of sleep, so I think uh, I'm gonna call it a day for today. I found the camping space that I think is nine euros fifty, which is very over budget, but. I think one paid, one paid accommodation is a, a week is okay. Uh, I so I'm gonna go there and then I can charge all my stuff and shower and wash all my, all my clothes and yeah. I think today is the right thing to do. <laughs> I've also got blisters forming on my feet. So I think a long day anyway was out of the question. Oh yeah, um, I'm in the campsite now. Uh, doing much better. Um, I've had a quite chill day actually. I ended up getting the campsite for free because I forgot to bring cash and the nearest cash machine is like 40k away. So <laughs> the lady was really nice and gave it to me for free. Um, still feel weird about the f fucking weird animal stuff last night. I forgot to mention as well, just the smell of those deer was so bad. Whenever I would see the shadows come closer to the tent, 
it was like uh, the bit in Harry Potter where he's with those dudes, like Dementors. It, the, the whole just the whole scene changed. It was it was weirdly supernatural, but not in a good way at all. Um, and when I did sleep, I was in the fetal position in the middle of the tent because when the when the stag was waiting, was standing still, and the female deers were circling, I thought. Does that mean that the stack's going to charge me in the tent? So I thought if I'm if I'm in the middle, I'm much less likely to be trampled. And the same again when it was fucking wild ball. The wild ball was way worse though because that was much shorter though because you can hear them coming and then there's like a low roar. Um, but they will fuck you up. Deer are more. Deer I knew were peaceful, but I thought. If they don't understand what a tent is, then it can get da dangerous. But yeah, I've had a good rest day, and tomorrow I'm back out into the wild in the mountains of north eastern France. I think after t I think tomorrow there should be two more nights, and then Switzerland. I don't know what the plan is yet, but I'm going to try and stay with a host on the way. Alright, I'm gonna get an early night because I still haven't slept in like uh, since yesterday pretty much. And then off to France tomorrow. Cycling in France is very, very different from from Germany. It's either this or um, you're on the side of dual carriageways. But it's okay. I don't know. It could be worse. Probably about the same as the UK, really. I'm about an hour away from uh, someone's house who replied on warm showers, so I, I have another full night's sleep tonight, which is great, but I kind of need to rush there. I looked on Google, which gave me the estimate of how long it would take me, and it said two hours, so I thought, oh, with all the extra work on the bike, let's, let's say three, oh, there's fucking bugs everywhere, let's say three hours, but even that wasn't really enough time, so, ow, something's fucking stung me. Ah! He's, he's coming back. What the fuck is that? This guy. Fuck. Ah! Fuck off. Why aren't you scared of me? Ah! Uh, he's coming with me. <laughs> I need to accelerate speed. Other than the road conditions, it's uh, very nice here. Very hilly though. Oh. But yeah, the nice rolling hills. Okay, I'm gonna cycle and try and get there in time. See you in a bit. Oh, bonjour. I just had a lovely uh, warm showers experience with with an amazing young French couple. Had uh, amazing food, and I've been sent on my way with a big bag of cherries picked. Uh, straight from their garden. So if you're watching this, thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Um, yeah, I'm in a... I'm in a good mood. I've, I'm well rested and uh, I'm ready for a big day. Uh, today, I've changed the route a little bit. I'm going along the Rhine River, which normally I wasn't going to do because it's difficult to wild camp. But uh, I found paid camping for five euros tonight, and I think the price is 
it's I think it's worth it especially since I didn't pay for camping the other night so yeah paid camping tonight and then tomorrow evening I should finally be crossing the Swiss border and then after that it's gonna get a bit more difficult because paid camping isn't an option from what I've heard paid camping in Switzerland starts at like 25 euros a night so I'm either gonna have to hide in bushes very well more uh, more hiding than I've been doing at the moment or maybe I can stay with uh, warm showers hosts a few times but yeah feeling good uh, personally I think I'd rather go along the Rhine than uh, through the mountains because I'm gonna get I'm gonna make much faster progress uh, but yeah so first stop Strasbourg and I will find a decathlon to buy a tiny stove so I can start cooking again and yeah cash point and a little okay see you in a bit degrees which is why I've got my nips out for the boys I think two more hours roughly to Strasbourg hopefully sooner it's fucking boiling Ooh. right see you in a bit hello um, I'm just in Strasbourg at the moment um, I had like quite a stressful few hours. I needed to get a new stove from Decathlon and it was on the third floor of this huge like shopping center. And as soon as I started locking my bike up, these guys were like, hey, hashish, you wanna buy hashish? And I thought, oh fuck, I can't leave my bike near like a group of <laughs> dudes, um, especially since I can't take all the bags off it. If I did, it would take me like an hour. <clears throat> um, but it was okay in the end, I ended up parking it around the other side and then basically running in with my two main bags. So yeah, I'm gonna leave here in about 20 minutes and then just cycle down the Rhine until I get to the camping spot. Yeah. Switzerland. For me this is where the adventure really starts. The last uh, week and a half, week. Um, I've been visiting countries that I've either lived in before, Holland and Belgium, or that I've visited multiple times. I think I've visited Germany and France like five times a piece. So the first week hasn't been that interesting for me. More kind of business as usual. Um, but now we're kind of breaking new ground. Um, I'm in a country now that's more strict and far more expensive than anything I've experienced before. So I'm gonna have to have my wits about me. Especially when it comes to wild camping, I've heard there's pretty hefty fines for wild campers that are caught and the police do try and um, catch campers in, in, uh, in the more popular mountainous areas. Uh, that's that's basically why I'm here, the mountains. I've been having a kind of uh, flirtationship with mountains since I saw my first ever mountain last summer on the way to a family 
um, trip to Hungary with uh, Nadia and her parents and I saw some Austrian mountains we were driving there and it's about midnight and I saw these huge behemoth shadows looming over me and then again at Christmas um, we went through a snowy mountain pass but I wasn't we were kind of in a rush so I wasn't able to really get up close and personal with them and smell them and touch them um, and so it's in this trip that I have to do just that so I'm staying with the I made it on time to meet the host that I'm staying with so I'm, one sec uh, junction we're all right yeah so I made it on time to meet her and uh, I'm gonna go around to my house in about half an hour I think <clears throat> and then after that I head to the very south of Switzerland uh, close to the Italian border and I'm gonna attempt to wild camp at the base of the Matterhorn uh, Europe's second highest mountain so that's gonna be quite a challenge um, but we'll see how it goes but yeah I'm really I'm really excited for the coming days and I've got stuff to actually film now and not just hundreds and hundreds of miles of canal paths which has been have been nice to cycle but um, my day cycling have been a little bit boring to be honest the nights have been exciting a bit too exciting with all of the fucked up animals that <laughs> have been waking me up every night in night during the night but uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to it so I guess I'll update uh, tomorrow oh fucking bug Okay, this is my Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh.